calculate the function value. Next slide. Now you apply the so-called multiple segment Simpson one-third rule. Uh, based on the formula we developed earlier, this is the equation to calculate multiple segment Simpson one-third rule. Notice the value of n1 is equal to 4. The value of n1 is equal to 4. The reason is because you have four segments for Simpson one-third rule. And because of that, the subscript i for this summation will go from 1 to 3. Okay? And then for the next summation, the subscript i will go only from 2 to 2. The first one, I go from 1 to 3. Okay? And x at n1 mean x4 because n1 equal to 4. So now we are ready to substitute the numerical value. h over 3 is equal to 3.14 divided by 3. Function at x0 is equal to this. This factor number 4 is here. This summation will have fx1 and fx3. They are here, fx1, fx3. And then 2 time, this is 2 time, f of x2, which is right here. This is f at x2. OK? And then finally, fx4 is here. So what you got is i1 equal to 400, uh, 4,364 based on the first four segments, Simpson one-third rule. Then after that, we will calculate the Simpson 3-8 rule using three small segments. According to the equation that we developed earlier for Simpson 3-8 rule, that is given in here for the expression of I2. Now, notice in this equation, since the 3 8 rule, we use N2 equal to 3 segment. That's why N2 minus 2 is equal to 1. Okay? N2 is equal to 3 segment. So N2 minus 1 is equal to 2. N2 is equal to 3 segment. So that's why N2 minus 3 equal to 0. So apply that Simpson 3 8 rule. 3H over 8, that term is here. Fx0, that term is here. The factor 3, that term is here. Inside this summation, I go from 1 to 1. So that's what you have is that term basically is here, which is f at x1. Next, a factor 3 that is here. This subscript i go from 2 to 2. And this term, therefore, is just f at x2. And finally, for the next summation, this subscript i go from 3 to 0. You cannot go from 3 to 0. So basically, it just simply means this term right here, we just keep it because you cannot go from 3 to 0 with the increment of 3. And finally, because n1, this is a typing error. This n1 here should be n2. It should be xn2. OK? There's a typing error there. And so, uh, x of n2, x of n2 is the same thing as x of uh, 3, because n2 is equal to 3, because n2 is equal to 3. Now, one thing you have to be careful, because there's a, another very commonly mistake. The formula say fx0 plus 
3 times fx1 plus 3 times fx2 plus fx3. However, if you remember the first four segments, we use, if, if you look at the picture before, this, this is a very common mistake people make. This is x, this is f of x, and if you remember, for the first, we have uh, the, the complicated function is here. Lower bound is A, upper bound is B, x0, x1, x2, x3, x4. This is x0, x1, x2, x3, x4. The first x0, x1, up to x4, we use Simpson one-third rule. After that, we use x, x4 again, x5, x6, and x7. We use Simpson 3-8 rule. So, in the formula, the so-called x0, x1, x2, and x3, it should corresponding to x4, x5, x6, x7. And the reason is because the first x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, we already use it by Simpson one-third rule. So fx0 actually should mean f at x4. So this value, 177, was wrong. It should be the value of fx4 plus 3 times instead of fx1, it should be 3 times f at x5. And again, this value, 256, was wrong. It should be f of x5. And the next term, 3 times fx2, that should be 3 times f at x6. So the value of f of x6 should be used in here. And f of x6 is not equal to 342, OK? The next term we skip. The last term, instead of fx3, it should be f at x7. And this value, three, uh, 435, should be replaced by f at x7. So when we do all those things, then we got I2 will be equal to 6697. So the answer is here, correct for Simpson 38 rule. The answer 3000 or uh, 4000 something here is correct for Simpson one third rule. And the combined answer will give you the correct answer. So that is this example. A few remarks before we quit for this chapter. If you remember from the previous chapter when we learned about Simpson one-third rule, the truncated error is given by equation 18, which basically say equal to the upper bound minus lower bound raised to the power of 5 times the fourth derivative of the given function f evaluated at eta, where eta is somewhere between a and b. Now, Simpson 3-8 rule is slightly more accurate. The only thing dif different is the number appear in the denominator for the Simpson 3-8 rule. It is like 6,000 something instead of 2,880. Which basically means Simpson 3-8 rule is slightly more accurate compared to Simpson one-third rule. But in our opinion, it is not worth it to use Simpson 3-8 rule because we gain just a little bit more accurate, slightly and more accurate, but the price we pay is a lot more heavier because we have to use a cubic equation instead of a quadratic equation to approximate the given function f. Okay? This is about us thing that I already said to you, Simpson one-third rule, if you want to use a multiple segment, it has to be a multiple of two. So the number of segments 
that you can use for Simpson one third rule, it has to be a multiple of two, which means it has to be an even number. On the other hand, if you want to use the multiple segment Simpson 3-8 rule, then the number of segments has to be a multiple of 3, like 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. If you want to use multiple segments Simpson rule with 7 segments, obviously for 7 segments, you cannot use multiple Simpson one-third rule, because that have to, to require the number of segments equal to an even number. In this case, you have an odd number. But like I told you for this uh, previous example, for the case when you have seven segments, you can use the mixture between Simpson one-third rule, let's say with four segments, and then Simpson three-eighth rule with three segments. Now obviously, in this example that we just finished, we use four segment Simpson one third rule first and then we use the last three segment for Simpson three eight rule. If you want to you can do the reverse case. You may do the first three segment with Simpson three eight rule and then you use the last four segment with Simpson one third rule. Okay? Now if you want to write a computer program, we can give you the computer 